there's a less than 1% chance that a young boy will make it to the major league. There's a smaller chance that a 24-year-old working in a warehouse will get a second chance to chase his dreams. This is Chris Martin, a 6'8 right-handed pitcher for the Colorado Rockies. A true Cinderella story. Graduating in 2004, Martin decided instead of signing with the Detroit Tigers out of high school, he would take his slender 6 foot 5, 170 pound body to McLennan Junior College. I kind of felt like I needed, needed to mature mentally and physically, so I decided to take the junior college route and also I was able to be drafted each year. But while at McLennan, Martin injured ligaments in his shoulder, causing him to have career ending surgery. Well, it wasn't really my, my decision, I guess you could say. I mean, it was my body's decision. I, I went and had surgery uh, the year after, and I went through the rehabilitation process and everything, and, and I, went and, I went and tried to throw again after that, and it just felt, it felt the same. So I was kind of kind of felt defeated and, and decided to go ahead and hang it up. Deciding to hang it up, the young Martin's baseball dreams faded to black. He started working at places like UPS and Lowe's. Well, I worked three years at odd jobs. I mean, I worked at UPS, I worked at Lowe's, and then I kind of started working at Texas Appliance. And I mean, I started looking back and I was like, this isn't the life that I want to live. I, I don't want to do manual labor my entire life. But while working at Texas Appliance, his spark for baseball reignited. Work. I mean, one day, my boss did bring his gloves in, and he wanted to throw. And uh, we ended up throwing in the back of the warehouse. And that's kind of the day that I kind of felt like I, I could do it again, knowing that the next day my arm recovered and I could throw again without without pain. So I kind of kind of jump started it. And you went and tried out for the Airhawks uh, pretty soon after that. It was great. I mean, it was it was kind of surreal. I mean. I mean, even though it was an independent team or whatever, I mean, that gets kind of a bad reputation, but I still went out there and competed against guys that have have been playing professional ball for a while, and this was my first go at it, and and uh, I feel like I did well and, and moved on. And soon after that season, you got called by Boston to come out and do a tryout for them. So kind of, how did it feel, or what was the emotions that were going through you when you were out there? Doing that. It's definitely uh, nerve wracking. I'm kind of glad I didn't know the people that were standing behind the turtle watching me throw because it would have freaked me out. But um, I just went up there and and did what I feel like I do best in life is throw a baseball. So it's kind of so. Who was behind the turtle whenever you were throwing? The whole entire front office of the Boston Red Sox, but I didn't know at the time. <laughs> and you said they called you back in uh, a, a couple days later to to throw for them again. Um, and then you had to go through a tryout, right? Uh, spring training was pretty much my tryout. And then after spring training was over and you got the opportunity to go and play, how did you move through the system so quickly? I feel like, I mean, being 24, being, I mean, yeah, I was, I was new to, to professional baseball, but maturity-wise, I was able to, to not partner, I mean, kind of, stay level-headed, I guess you could say. I mean, not get too high on myself or too low on myself and just and just go out there and compete with guys and, and trust what my abilities. And then you got pulled up to AAA and played pretty much the whole season last year at AAA for the Red Sox. Um, and you had a really good season on, on top of that. Um, how did that boost your confidence coming into this next year? Uh, to be honest with you, I had a little bit of a chip on my shoulder going into the 2013 season. And I started off in double A, which I wasn't too happy about. And I felt like I had to almost be perfect to get out of that level. And I, I did and moved to triple A and was able to pitch well there. And I mean, a huge boost of confidence, knowing that I'm pitching against guys that have have played in the big leagues or, I mean, are down rehabbing or something or in that fact, in that sense. But uh, it was good, a huge confidence booster in, in, in what I could do. And then just recently, you got traded to the Rockies. What was that like to get traded and to wake up and not be with the team that you were you were signed to at the beginning? 
Uh, I don't think it's really set in yet. I really haven't met too many people from the Rockies, player-wise. Uh, it's definitely going to be different next year, but I mean, still the ultimate goal is to pitch in the big leagues, and that's what I got to do next year. And you went to Denver just recently. Yeah. How surreal was that to get to see, meet the front office and everything that you could be pitching for one day? Oh, it was great. I mean, it definitely gave me a boost of motivation seeing the seeing the field, talking to those guys, and how how uh, confident they are in, in me pitching for them. I mean, in the big league, so gave me a huge motivation, makes me want to work harder to get to that level. What's your thing going in this year? Like, what's going to be your motivation, your motto? Um, just, what's your mindset going in? Well, it's, it's funny you ask. Um, I actually was talking to a good friend that I played independent ball with that played in the big leagues, and you know what my goal was at the beginning of this was to pitch in the big leagues, but now my goal, seeing that it's seeing that I do compare up with these guys, now it's I want to be the best in the big leagues. I want to be the best at what I do in the big leagues. So that's that's my goal for this upcoming year.